If I was stranded on a desert island, what would you pick as your one lure if you had a fishing rod with you? For me, it would be a jig. Because you can work multiple level co uh, columns, whether you can go deep, you can go medium, you can work really fast on the top. Anyway, so he, uh, he has came up with a product called the Articulous Jig. This jig head is essentially a, a warm hook of sort. Because see, it's not exactly a warm hook, it's like a jig, jig hook of some sort. It looks pretty strong. It has a weight on the front and a pigtail to hold your plastics. So the concept here is to have a articulating jig head. So when you actually set the hook and the fish is hooked, it stays on there. The fish does not have a, a wedge for it to pry itself out. You put, you hold, you hold the, the pigtail, you try to put it in the middle as much as possible, and you rotate clockwise, right? Clockwise, clockwise until you align it so the belly of the lure is towards the hook. Once the belly of the lure is toward the hook, you measure it where it's going to come out. I would put my thumb on the other side, like so. So when I, like so. So when I actually put the lure on there, I feel it on the other side before it comes out. That way if I, I get it wrong, I just redo it. Like that, right? So I feel it comes out. You want it as straight as possible. Because if you don't have it straight, it will not, it will be like, like this or too stretchy and the action will be terrible. So as you can see right here, it's weedless, paddle tail, and it wobbles on the way down. So you can crank it straight or bounce it off the bottom. A straight lure. That is how you hook any warm hook, obviously, but this is how you work with the articulous jig as well. Made right here in, in Florida. Captain Jay Withers, articulous jigs. Thank you.